A fresh Q, uh, fresh QE, basically, when the bank of uh, Welcome to February. This is Jim Barrett from RJO Futures. Uh, notes and bonds uh, off the highs, but almost, uh, you know, at the at the year's highs, almost back at 2015 highs. Uh, interesting week last week. It was like a a, a fresh Q, uh, a fresh QE, basically, when the Bank of Japan moved Thursday night, kicked the stocks and bonds higher together. Uh, they traded, uh, you know, in the, in the same direction, uh, bullishly, obviously. Uh, yields have fallen dramatically. Uh, we started out the year at 303 in the 30. We're down to 272. The uptrend has been sort of relentless. It's been uh, all you basically had to do is jump on. It hasn't been straight up. There were, you know, small pullbacks. It's been orderly, in other words. Uh, and here we are at 161 level and at the yield levels uh, that just got to have the bears tearing their uh, hair out once again. Uh, 30, I mean, excuse me, the 10 year uh, 232 to start the year down to 191. This is at the same time that the stock stocks have at least on a temporary basis recovered uh, some sea legs here from the uh, early January sell-off and we are a bit lower today but uh we're basically you know significantly off the bottom is back on uh january 20th and uh considerably above the the lows made uh back last wednesday thursday before the uh bank of japan action uh i mentioned it's february new month so what do we got coming we got an unemployment uh number coming friday they're looking for 270 to 215, uh, 49 to 50. In other words, more the same, kind of uh, okay, but lukewarm. And I think that's a key to having both in stocks and bonds hang in here a little bit. Because, uh, uh, I mean, we're back to where the Fed is in a straitjacket. It, it can't really follow through on its uh, sort of threat to raise rates three, four times that it made late last year. Uh, Everybody expects it's going to be on hold on March, and I mean, unless something crazy happens with this number, I mean, that most likely is absolutely correct. Uh, it'll allow to uh, notes and bonds to float up here at these levels, and and stocks to possibly recover some more, or unlikely to go underneath under the same pressure, um, you know, that happened uh, as the year began. Now, what's a wild card? The wild card, I guess, is uh, oil again. Uh, down kind of hard today. Down two bucks. Down maybe three dollars off the rally highs I mean, we've got a ton of volatility in the crude complex but that's typically how supply led bear markets end with with great volatility like this and uh yeah my guess is you know we we hold up we hold up above the lows the extreme lows that we made down at 27 i think uh in uh second week of january you know possibly hold above 30 which would be uh uh, enough to keep the pressure off uh, off the stock indexes in general and allow the market to focus on things other than oil, the oil sector, and uh, you know possibly keep the economy growing at a at a very slow rate and not and and not throw the brakes on in an even faster way due to uh, serious problems in the oil patch. Anyways, a few Fed governors speak today. I mean, not today, rather this week. Esther George and uh, Meister. No big names, obviously. So uh, I think pretty much, unless something uh, uh, the stocks turn down, you know, in a very uh, he heavy way, we float till Friday and see what happens with the unemployment number. We reach the 800 500 2461. Thank you. If futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for okay. all investors.